human being, it breaks my heart because the tobacco industries, again, have beat us to the punch. There's a new warning tonight from health experts with a big spike in teens vaping pot. And with it, a rising chance of serious side effects. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with the experts. And Michael, what does the data tell us? The data shows that over the last eight years, the number of teens using vaping products to get high has more than doubled. And experts warn that those thinking this is the safer option is far from the truth. Could teens be trading a joint for a vape pen? Most people think that it's safe. It may be more discreet, but is it actually safer? It isn't. It doesn't appear to be safer. And, and in fact, it appears to be less safe. Carol Boyd, co-director of the Center for the Study of Drugs, Alcohol, Smoking, and Health at the University of Michigan, says vaping THC can damage the lungs, and it's worse than other forms of consuming weed. Is that vaping cannabis, even in your lifetime, was had more symptoms than if you were smoking cannabis in the past 30 days. But vaping for a high is on the rise. The study showed the number of teens that said they have vaped THC at least once in their lives, more than doubling since 2013. And for teens that use every month, well, those numbers are even worse. I'm pretty sure that there's like a sevenfold increase. That's Carmen Lin, who ran the study. The concern are the side effects like pulmonary issues. See, that oil that's used in these products has a higher concentration of THC and worse chemicals like vitamin E acetate. And truthfully, I can't imagine why anybody would think inhaling the vapor of chemicals into one's lung would be safe. Vitamin E acetate specifically can cling to the linings of the lungs when inhaled, hurting their ability to function. As of February 2020, more than 2,800 people have been hospitalized or died in the U.S. because of vaping products. Research since then well, has been limited because of COVID. Policy has to change. Both Lim and Boyd say changes are needed to regulate these products and protect teens from potentially serious side effects. So, of course, the big question here is what is the long term impact? And the reality is we just simply do not know. All this data has really come out in the last 10 years or so. So we don't know what the impacts will be for these teens when they start to enter their 30s and 40s. Worldly Alert Center, Michael Doudna, 12 News.